I finished all the deliveries, Dad. Ah, oh, good job. Oh, one thing. I decided to go ahead and knock out all the deliveries tomorrow and the day after that, if it's OK. Oh, that right. I thought you and I decided to take turns doing the deliveries. Well, yeah, we did. But my team's got an away match next week, so I'm doing this to cover, you know, while I'm gone. So, guess things are changing around here. Now you're calling all the shots? It used to be that you just complain. Now you like making deliveries? It's not that it's a good time or anything like that. But if I don't drive Akina, I start to get a little nervous. When I'm away from home, I'm driving on all these strange courses, places I've never seen before. And I'm always too focused on breaking their records. I don't get a chance to consider anything else. I never thought of it like this before, but I'm relaxed on Akina. <laughs> Something about the whole place puts me at ease. Because of that, I begin to notice other things. See, it's not that I haven't mastered the 8.6, but if I'm gonna try out new things, I wanna do it here. I guess that just makes the most sense to me. Try the new stuff on Akino where I'm comfortable. I won't say something stupid like I wanna make the deliveries every day, but I think I'd like to do them as often as I can. Impressive, kid. You're already starting to put together the importance of a home course. Welcome! Check it out. Hey. It's our old pal. Showing your face around here, and out in broad daylight, too. Today's my only day off from work. I didn't have a whole lot going on, so I thought I'd swing by here. Now listen to me. Having nothing to do on a day off can be a mighty big problem for a kid like you, if you know what I mean. Have you heard from your girlfriend lately? Yeah, you talked to Natsuki much since she left town for Tokyo? You never say. Got a letter from her in April. It sounded like she was having a good time. Knowing her, I'm sure she's adapted just fine. I mean, that kind of thing is her strong suit. It always has been. Why don't you get off your butt and visit her sometime? <sighs> no, shut up! You can't say that! He'll drop everything he's doing and go running after her if you give him permission. Come on, guys. I wouldn't be able to go anyway. I'm too busy. I don't have time to be running out of town. You... what? I already got enough in my mind to worry about with the team and my job and all that stuff. I don't have room to think about anything else. My plate's full. I hear what you're saying. But if you're gonna keep saying things like that, then... You'll just be Kinji the sequel. Yeah, and you won't get any sympathy from us when you are. Uh, better believe it. The guy's getting old, man, and not a girlfriend in sight. You think you're gonna be okay living this lonely of a life just swinging by the gas station every time your day gets a little boring? You two are the last people on mm -hmm. Earth who should be spitting out crap like that. Shinji! I should apologize. I mean, living such an offensive, lonely life with no girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> what jerks. Been hearing a lot about you, Takami. That Project E you're working with is rocking out. I saw the posting of your last match. Give me chills. Seriously, man, nice work. Nowadays, Takumi along with Keisuke Takahashi are the twin stars representing our fair Gunma area. They're almost like superheroes. You guys are too good. We're all really impressed. Aren't both of you, like, invincible no matter where you go? It's not like every win is effortless. Seems like every one is by the skin of our teeth. 
And who knows how tough the next set of guys will be. That's the problem that we have to face down week after week. It's actually kind of nerve-wracking. You wouldn't believe the pressure it can put on you. So do you have any idea who you're gonna race next? Or do they not tell you that stuff? No, they tell me. They're called the Toto... I think it's the Toto School. What? You're racing the Toto School? Are they a big deal? Well, yeah. I've been hearing about them for a long time now. It's a training school for driving techniques that's run by a car shop owner and ex-rally driver. Started with all his young car-loving customers, then it just exploded from there. It's a training school just for driving techniques? I didn't even know a thing like that existed. Mm-hmm. What I hear is it's a group of stubborn racers who are more interested in speed. It's all they want. They could care less about that drifting style that seems to be so popular with all your kids. A lot of the Toto School alums have gone pro, and word on the street is that plenty of the graduates on their team are already at semi-pro status. Whoa, not the group I'd want to be going up against. How about you? <laughs> Toto, what's up? You wanted to see me? I heard that you needed to talk to me. Yeah, that's right. Here there's an outside team coming in. You planning on racing against them, huh? Yeah, Project D. I was hoping to. All right. Follow me. Toto, this car, it's... It's a demo my shop uses. Didn't know if you wanted it for the race. I appreciate your offer, but I think it's better if I use my own car. I mean, the Toto company's demo car is an overwhelming monster. I just don't think it would be much of a competition if I drove it out there. I win the race in this, I wouldn't feel like I'd done it with my own set of skills. Come on! Don't be such a naive kid. Look, I didn't mean to be harsh with you. I just figured you'd try to say something stupid like that. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Just do the things the way you think they should be done. The race is only for fun anyway, right? <sighs> hey. Just do your best, okay? If I feel like it, maybe I'll drop by and check it out. What's wrong with you, Daiki? You're gonna turn down that offer? What a waste. If it was me, I'd accept what the chief director throws out there, no questions asked. Man, this car is beyond your wildest dreams. Seriously, I don't even know if you'd be able to handle it. <laughs> Look, I get it, Sakai, you can let it go. I just think using your own car is a rule that people should be able to honor on their own. Besides, my EK's been tuned up to the point that there's no chance I'd lose to anyone in a downhill. Hey, why don't you just try to relax already, dude? I've heard of Project D2, but we have been trained by the Toto School, you know? These suckers are probably so weak, we'll be disappointed over it for the next month anyway. Yeah, I guess maybe you're right, Sakai. But I mean... Come on, don't they piss you off even a little bit? The almighty Project D. Look, I don't know much about the internet or homepages, but it seems like all their posts about their accomplishments are just plain bragging. It's obvious these guys are full of themselves. Yeah, you're right. Nothing gets under my skin more than people with attitudes like that. I want to show those punks that the world is full of fast drivers. They're not the only ones who can do this. Of course not. And with this EK-9 here, I'm sure you'll have no problem showing them as many times as you want. I'm gonna. Ryosuke, I've been meaning to talk to you about this for a while. Well, it's about the homepage we set up. Don't you think maybe it's just a little too provocative? No, it's fine. That's just the way we want it to be. It's important we're perceived as the bad guys. We want to be hated by the people that we're challenging. But if we do that, then... Yes. Our opponents will get all worked up and go at us with everything that they've got. The tougher they are, the better it will be for us. If our back's not against the wall, then the battle won't be a hard one, and then there's no point to it. You know that winning battles and setting new course records are some of Project D's objectives, but that's not all this team is about. From the very moment I started this whole thing, I've had a very different purpose in mind for it. There's another meaning hidden within the D in our name, something that no one else knows about but me. Hey, hold on a second, man. Why haven't you ever talked to me about any of this? It's nothing personal. Don't take it that way. I haven't explained it to anyone yet, and I don't plan to for a while. Quit being so secretive, Ryosuke. Come on, tell me what's up. What does the D stand for in our team's name? <laughs> You'll find out eventually, Fumihiro, like everyone. Yeah, but when will eventually be? 
Around the time the project is complete. They said they'll withdraw the local cars. I don't know why, but it's like the course has been rented out to us. It might seem like that, but we still have regular traffic to worry about, don't we? No. The road's still under construction, so it won't be open to regular traffic for a while. Apparently, we should be free and clear. The only cars in the whole mountain should be ours and theirs. Under construction? So that's why. When I saw it on videotape, it was an amazing course. There are a whole lot of shifts in elevation, and the road winds around quite a bit. It might be freshly paved and wide enough for us to do this, but there are plenty of fallen rocks scattered around. It doesn't matter how you look at it. You couldn't say this road has a clean surface. Kiske! Oh, you. What are you doing here? I thought you were back at home. You didn't even notice I came along? I'm the driver for Van 2 this time. I thought at least you would know who you were working with. <sighs> Look, Keisuke. Once you're done gearing up your car, could you please take me for one ride shotgun? Just one. I really need it. I want to learn more by watching your driving technique up close. I really think it'll help. I don't know, kid. Doubt we'll have enough time before this whole song and dance gears up. <laughs> this race is really going to be tricky. I need to concentrate. Are you worried about it? Kenta, open your eyes. Haven't you noticed anything? All right. We're all set. Looks like you're ready to roll, Case K. Cool. <laughs> We should go, too. Okay. so laid back and starting to creep me out. This whole thing about letting us have total run of the course, it's like they're not even concerned. Even I'm beginning to feel the pressure starting to build up against us. I want to know how these Toto School people drive. You should have a pretty good idea how they drive if I tell you Kyoichi Sudo of the Emperors used to be one of them. Their whole team is tough-talking vets, just like him. It's a bunch of guys just as good as Kyoichi? Look, we don't have to do this, Ryosuke. I mean, Project D doesn't exactly have a lot of races under its belt yet. Maybe we should just put this one on hold and race them later. No. If we can be defeated by a team like this, then there's not a chance we'll ever survive those future battles. We'll figure out our true worth here on this run, in this battle. By the end, we'll have crushed the Toto School into the asphalt. Project D. They were way more together than I expected. Gotta give them that. Honestly, I was impressed. Maybe I shouldn't say it, but yeah, even the composition of their team made sense. Yeah, good point. They brought three vans full of parts and tires. Gotta admit, it's a pretty smart move. Both the FD and the 86 each had their own personal mechanics, and those guys worked fast, man. I mean really fast. Those dudes had some serious skills, if you ask me. It's gotta be a pretty clever guy pulling all those grease monkey strings. Everything I've seen so far tells me these drivers could be better than we thought. <laughs> Until yesterday, I wasn't expecting much more than them showing up and looking scared. Well, I'm just looking forward to racing another team for a change. It's always too competitive when we race each other anyway. It kind of sucks all the fun right out of the whole thing. 
Not to mention, Chief Toto's always on our cases for everything. Can't make any mistakes. You stop paying attention for one second and he's there to scream at you. Yeah, and compared to our races against each other, the one tomorrow night will be a piece of freaking cake. Kinda makes me wish I was out there racing. So why don't I just do that? Yeah, me too. I wanna race. Give me a break, you guys. Don't you think you're a bit out of their league? I think it would be best if all the graduate drivers sat this one out. And we should leave it to the current students in the interest of fairness to both teams. Daiki ZK will race downhill. And my Integra Turbo will take the uphill. Well, I guess that's the way it is. But if you two lose, we're never gonna let you forget it. You'll be dishonoring the name of the Toto School, and you'll be dishonoring us. Yeah, and if you lose, we're gonna penalize you. With like a million yen, what do you think about that? Wait, a million yen? That sounds pretty rough. If this is a joke, it's not funny, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> stable how are the tires working out there they're holding tight to the road i can really let her out i'm gonna take five then i'll run the course two or three more times at these settings after that i'm done sure you know this road twists and turns like a grapevine that downhill is gonna be one intense ride i changed the brake pad you had to more durable ones it'll cost you a bit of control at first so keep that in mind i don't want you slipping out there okay thanks matsumoto time to see what this course has to offer Bring her back after about five runs. I want to check on those pads and make sure they're not getting sticky on you. Okay. Ryosuke looks different. But so does everyone else. What is this feeling that's hanging over everything? Never felt anything like this during the Red Sun's expedition battles. It's like something amazing is about to happen here. I'm getting nervous. I almost want to run away. I wonder if the first step to being a driver for Project D is being able to withstand this kind of tension. Ikatani, Itsuki, the big race is tonight. Project D's gonna take on the Toto School. Wow, you really don't have a life, do you? Dude, doesn't this get you excited? Aren't you even the slightest bit curious how Takumi's gonna do? Sure. But I'm not shutting down my life and hauling the Tochigi just to watch a race. Hey, why don't you go watch it by yourself, Kenji? Not like you have anything else to do. Enough! <laughs> Quit talking about how I have no girlfriend, you got it? I never mentioned if you had a girlfriend or not, you freaking psychopath! Give me a break already! I just said it, I heard you! You heard the voices in your head. So tonight's the night, but these guys from the school might be tougher than they think. Finally, it looks like the sun's setting. I slept like hell last night. The day felt like it lasted a year. I wonder why the atmosphere around here is so stifling. I guess maybe it's because I didn't see any of the local drivers in that course last night, not one time. It's like they didn't care. It bothers me not being able to see what my opponent's made of. We haven't been able to dig up any data on them. Yeah, exactly. They haven't bothered to check up on how we drive either. That gives me a bad feeling about this. Or who knows, maybe I'm thinking too much. At any rate, this just shows how much confidence they have in themselves. Not even back in my days with the Red Suns did anyone seem to blow us off as much as these guys are doing right now. You know, Fumihiro, you can get bent out of shape if you want, but that kind of stuff never bothered me. Uh -huh. Before I joined this team, I drove against a bunch of different people, and they always treated me exactly like this. I'm used to it. I concentrate better when I don't know my opponent. I like it when it's a stranger in the other car. Push all the unnecessary thoughts out of your head and just focus on driving as fast as you can on the road in front of you. I'm having a lot of fun. I can't help it. Are you serious? I don't know any other way to explain it. I just can't think of anything I like more. There's nothing better. I see. Put it like that, and I guess that's the way you've always raced. Good point. Amazing. I can't believe he can relax and enjoy the situation as much as he is. Fujiwara is on a level totally different from Ryosuke or Keisuke. Akina's 8-6, Takami Fujiwara. And now that we're both here, there's no point in stirring up any trouble. I think the best thing we can do is to stand behind the downhill driver that Ryosuke's chosen.
Is that you, Dikey? I want to run a quick check on my brakes. Do you mind if I borrow a jack and a wrench for a few minutes? That's cool. So is this part of the ritual of final check preparation before tonight's big race? Now, you know I've never been into that kind of BS. <sighs> to be honest with you, I can't get pumped up for this one, Sakai. For some reason, I just can't get into this battle. Yeah, I could tell something was wrong. You haven't been acting like yourself since yesterday. Has something to do with your opponent's car, right? Didn't know it was so obvious. But of course, you'd be able to tell. Out of all the cars to go up against an 8-6, to chase after a wind-up toy like that and leave it in the dust, it's like beating up a little kid. <laughs> Once I saw that car last night, I felt bad ever since. I don't care if the driver's the best in the world. I can't find anything that excites me about this race. This whole thing would be a lot better if I was racing the FD. So you'll embarrass him. Big deal. You've got to stop being so particular. Everyone knows that it doesn't matter what car you're racing against. No car is ever gonna beat you in a downhill race. Now, change that locked up way you've been thinking and show these jerks the difference in your skills. They're the ones who pick the fight, pal. Remember that. There's no reason for us to hold back at all. Even if your opponent is a pathetic little 8-6. Takami Fujiwara. I'm Daiki Ninomiya. He's so young. This is Project D's downhill racer? We want to run the race in the leader chaser fashion if it's all right by you, but it's your track, so you guys can pick your position for the first run. You think that through? We've already got the advantage being the home team here. Yeah, but this is how we prefer to do things when we're the away team. You guys are pretty confident, aren't you? If that's what you want, then I'll be the one chasing. Switch up on the second run. Good. Then we should go ahead and start the race. Are you sure you're okay being the chaser? You just finished the race all that much sooner if you took the leader slot. You may be right. But something's been nagging at me. You get it, right? This guy is not gonna be as easy an opponent as we thought. So they're going to be chasing for the first run. All right. Could you hand the phone over to talk to me? Who'd you are? It's Ryosuke. What's up? Talk to me. It's important that you listen. I have two basic instructions for you. OK. OK. Sure, I understand. We're counting on you, man. Hope I can do it. This guy's an incredible driver. I can sense it. It's like I can see how fast he is. He's amazing. You both start off slow, and then after the first corner, you can kick it into full speed and give it all she's got. The 8-6 is starting off first, so you just have to stay behind it. I got it. That 8-6's driver seems like he's got more to give than I was giving him credit for. There's only one reason I chose to be the chaser for the first run. I have to know. Why does he drive an 8-6? I mean, what can he possibly do in a scrap heap like that? Show me what you've got. Here we go. Let's do this. All right, they're starting up. It's about time this downhill got going. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, they're about to start. It's time to find out what Project D is really made of.